Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. I was contacted not so long ago by Festool and they asked me if I'd be interested in taking a look at one of the pre-production versions of one of their new pieces of equipment. I've of course jumped at the opportunity and I've now got in my hand uh, the brand new concept. It's the Festool Sysrock job site radio. Now, after I'd had it for a few days, I started to play around with uh, some videoing. And I said to Festival, well, can I release a video about this? They said, not until now. So here is the video that I've made about Festival's latest device, the Sysrock job site radio. Now, when you open the box, this is what you'll find inside. You'll find the Sysrock itself. There'll be a power supply with some sort of uh, mains plug that suits the country in which you're in. Uh, there's a, a lead which allows you to connect an MP3 player directly uh, to the Sysrock and there's a carrying case which is, uh, looks familiar, it's very similar uh, to the one that the Syslites come in. And of course there's registration documents and uh, instructions as well. Now the Sysrock and the Syslite uh, have got very similar form factors. You have to run uh, the Sysrock either from the mains adapter which is supplied or from one of your existing uh, batteries that fit onto any of the uh, Festool power tools using the standard connector. And this can be up to 18 volts. And in order to connect a battery, uh, all you do is you remove this rear cover in a similar way that you would do with the Syslite, attach the battery by sliding it in like so, and that's it connected. And now you can turn on the Sysrock and if I raise the antenna, there we have the radio. Alternatively, I can remove the battery like so. You plug in the mains adapter in the rear here, like so. And then your radio is good to go. And you know you get different music, uh, whether it's running on the mains or a battery. On the battery you get pop music, and when it's plugged into the mains, you get choral music. Now the Sysrock is a radio, and it's also a device that allows you to plug in other devices to it, either directly with a cable, or connect them via Bluetooth. And this includes pairing of telephones. Uh, we'll see more of that in a minute. But let me just take you on the tour of the uh, device itself. First of all, on the top here, you have an on-off switch. Behind it is a cover, which if you move this out of the way, it reveals uh, the socket, uh, which you'd use to plug in the little cable if you wanted to connect an MP3 player. But turn it round, and at the back here is uh, the socket for the uh, power supply adapter, uh, which has an output voltage of 19 volts. Uh, you may be fam familiar with this little hook arrangement here, which you'll have seen with the Syslite, and that allows you to hang the radio up somewhere out of the way, either in the workshop or the job site. Now this whole back piece here can be removed just by pulling it downwards, which then allows you to connect any of the standard Festool batteries, as I showed earlier. On the side here is an antenna, and it may be depending on the strength of uh, FM signals in your area, you may have to have that up all the time. Uh, at the front here, uh, we've got uh, a display, and then around the display are a series of buttons. Now the uh, display will uh, indicate the frequency, uh, and if the radio station has an I ID uh, name, it may show that as well. It, uh, it tells you that you're running FM, and it shows the signal strength uh, next to that uh, FM sign. And I've just plugged in the main supply and you can now see rather than having the battery bar indicator there, there's a mains uh, symbol. So the radio knows it's running off the mains. Now the volume control is uh, set using the plus and minus buttons here. On a daily basis. Um, there we go. Simple as that. Uh, for the volume. Uh, station search, uh, these two buttons here, up and down, uh, and if I just press it once, I will go up by uh, 0.1. If I press and hold, it will seek uh, the next station which is strong enough to be received. And it will stop now. There we go, and there's a uh, radio station. 
And in order to store a radio station that you may have found, this one uh, I will then press and hold the number four. It says on the display set memo, and that's it. So if I go back to that one, which was 88.5, now there's the one I just set. Now the Sysrock can be paired with a Bluetooth device, uh, such as uh, this iPhone, for example. Uh, and all, in order to do that, it's very simple. I'm just going to put the source here. Uh, that first time I press the button, it says auxiliary. That would be for the cable at the top. Uh, the second time I press the button, it says Bluetooth. So I'm now going to turn my phone on and I'm going to go to settings. And I'm going to go to Bluetooth. And here I'm being offered the Sysrock. So I'm going to click this and accept it. And now that's connected. So it says Peter's iPhone. And if I now choose to play a bit of music from here, and I'll turn the volume up. And the other thing you can do is to uh, call it. Hi, Norm. Peter, yeah. stop calling me Norm. Oh, well. Oh, coffee. Great, thank you. Well, I hope Norm didn't mind me doing that. Now, there are a couple of things I want to just point out to you about this radio. Uh, it does not have a USB charging point on it. I know some job site radios might have that. Uh, but then uh, you can pick up a little mains USB charger like this one for about three pounds uh, on eBay or somewhere like that. So uh, why worry? Um, it does not have an int integral battery. Um, you have to either connect it to the mains uh, or connect it to one of uh, the batteries that you have already uh, that come with one of your Festool drills or whatever. Uh, so those are the two things I'll just point out to you. Uh, other than that, I think the sound quality is pretty good. It really does appear to be quite robust. Uh, this is that hard sort of rubber that you would have seen if you've got a cis light already. Uh, and it, this grill here at the front uh, is pretty robust. Now, as this is a prototype, I'll just sort of give it a few knocks. And I can assure you that, um, um, you know, it's, it's going to take normal sort of knocks and bashes uh, on a job site. And uh, if I drop it on the floor, I'm sure it will uh, be just as good uh, when I pick it up again, albeit just a little bit dirty. I'll just put a battery on and... When you so that's the Sysrock for you. I hope this video has been useful. Uh, and don't forget, it's coming out very shortly in the new year. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.